Most golfers try to spend as little time as possible in the hospital, and with good reason. But Johannes Veerman almost made a career of it. The 29-year-old is now a member of the European Tour, but an injury he experienced as a teenager nearly changed the course of his life. It was my right thumb. Basically, uh, I was like uh, mishandling fireworks. And then when I woke up, I, I, I heard, your shirt's on fire, your shirt's on fire. So I looked down, tried to pat it out, take my shirt off, and I, why couldn't I grab into my shirt? I looked at my hand and it was just all mangled. Sorry, I don't know why we're talking about this. It's <laughs> such in depth. <laughs> As the saying goes, sometimes things happen in life for a reason. And Veerman wondered if he was destined for a higher calling. When I uh, got into the accident, I thought, you know, oh my gosh, I want to become a doctor. That would be the coolest thing ever. And um, so I switched my studies, tried to become a doctor, studied pre-med. All the doctors in the ER, after a while, getting to just know them a while, they were like, oh, you play golf at A&M? Like, every doctor in here wants to be in a golf course right now. Like, if you have the chance, you should do it. So instead of the operating room, the golf course has been Veerman's office for the past decade, and his journey to get there has led him all over the world. He has lived in seven countries, attended two different colleges, and has played in tournaments on six continents. It kind of makes you more independent, but it also helps you, I think, kind of own your game a little bit more. We all speak different languages, we all have different cultures, and we all maybe interpret things differently, but you realize that sports is what brings everyone from all cultures together. And a lot of pieces had to come together for Veerman to get here. Weather delays in his U.S. Open qualifier in Dallas caused Veerman to have to rebook several flights and caused a bit of an equipment issue for his next European Tour event. But the ultimate prize was secured, a trip to Torrey Pines. The U.S. Open qualifier was on Monday and my tournament started on Thursday. I thought I could just get a quick 36 hole in qualifier for the U.S. Open and catch a flight, go to Denmark. Obviously, nothing is ever that easy. I ended up getting through, it checks off so many bucket lists. First major, US Open, playing at Torrey Pines. As so many of us do, Veerman remembers exactly where he was the last time Torrey Pines hosted the US Open. So I was pacing around in the living room behind the couch because Tiger hit it in the rough. And then, you know, it curls in and you just start running around like, you're like, oh my gosh, you did it, what? <laughs> And maybe one day, fans and golfers will be recounting Veerman's incredible putt on the 72nd hole of a U.S. Open. <laughs>